And what's what's your name? My name is Sue Casson. And how do we spell your last name? K-A-S-S-I-N. Okay. And how long have you lived here at the Wilson, Sue? I believe I've been here a few months. I don't have the record to date. I have found that um, prior to coming to the Wilson, I had tried to resolve my personal problems and career plans by attending um, a community care center in Burlington under the auspices of a local psychiatric health facility and I found that what was happening was that there really existed nothing in the area of so-called mental health where people would be encouraged to work to get onto the system. Uh, I found that the facility was overburdened with useless, uh, inane, pointless rules and regulations that served no purpose but to keep people from getting out of their depression and into the economy and the workforce, which is what I'm trying to do while staying here at the Wilson. Uh, I'm very grateful for having come here because I find that even though the amenities are somewhat lacking, which they are, at the Wilson, I'm very grateful nevertheless to have the opportunity, the golden, uh, a blessed golden opportunity and possibility to really try and take one step forward at a time, at least, in terms of having a place to stay while I look for the um, counseling, uh, the career education, and these other things on my own, which hopefully will make a positive difference in my life. But I was not able to do this seeking the help of the recognized psychiatric establishment, mental health uh, establishment here in Burlington. And I found that only by coming to a place like the Wilson Hotel, which has nothing to do with mental health officially and on the record, was the only way that I could begin to bridge my life and to try and get things together, not because I don't need help, but because the medical and other authorities that purported to be help were in fact part of the problem. Have you been down to the, to the waterfront at all this summer? Rob, I've been to this building going on 13 years here. I came way back in 82. I've been here for 13 years, and I've been here four, four years I came here. Everybody said to me up there, the Carpenter's Union, the one that hired me to take it. Frank, why don't you go on a vacation with pay? Now, this is way back, 82, 83, 84. I said, well, I'll take it over and I'll let you know. Now, I've been here going on 13 years, and the farthest I get away from this building is just from here down to that coffee shop and back. That's the farthest I've been away in 13 years. It's true. How about, what, what do you think of North Street? Has it changed a lot in the oh, years you've been? Yeah, changed a lot. I've been, I've been on North Street since, oh God, since 1950, when I was, hang, was hanging around. Yeah, you know, uh, further in down there, uh, further in down there, there was all kinds of beer joints. There's still a lot, but there's still more in, but a lot of them have been closed since 1950, all the way up through North Street. Had them over here on this corner, where this one here, there's one over here. Uh, Stearnstein, of course, that's back when it burned, but that was 1950. I used to hang out in Stearnstein. That's way before it ever burned. And uh, downtown Pearl Street, where the courthouse is, they had Bernardini's Restaurant, uh, right across from Bowles, up this where that parking lot is from Bowles. There was uh, another beer joint. Yeah. Then just above there, there was another beer joint, and just above there was a grocery store. So you think North Street's better, or has it gotten better in the years? You know, Rob, I'll tell you something. I've heard people say, Frank, where do you live? I tell them I live on North Street. I'd never lived there. I've been there long. It's true why. It's true of Rob. I've been on North Street since 1950. I hung around with a lot of ex-boxers, where I used to do a little bit myself way back in the 50s. We all hung here. There was no trouble at all. No trouble. I never had no trouble on this North Street. Then they'll tell well, I went, Frank, what are they going to do with that? Go to a big city or something. Then, then they could say that. I never had trouble on this street, of course not. And the property around here, like I say, has improved a heck of a lot, you know, since, uh, since the days that I moved up here, you know. People realize that uh, the property is worth a lot more money than they used to, so they uh, paint and uh, they fix it up. And it's a lot better than uh, when I first moved up here. Because when I first moved up here, I bought this building pretty cheap, you know. And mm -hmm. uh, after uh, it burnt, I had insurance on it, just enough money to barely put it back together. But uh, since I put it back together, I think the thing has tripled in value. Probably worth about 20,000 at least three times. When did, um, when did that fire happen? And when back about 1972, roughly around 1972. 71 or 72, I think it was in that area. 
And that was the one that... that yeah, that, that well, it was the way, I, the way I heard it from the grapevine, the way it gets around, all they, you know, they didn't know exactly who started it for, for, for a short length of time there, you know, maybe a year. But the way it got back to me was it was some guy that started the fire back in the paint store down the street here. There used to be a paint store next to this Carpenters Union. And the uh, Carpenters Union bought that land there uh, from uh, the, the estate there. And uh, they got that driveway in there now, you know? Right. And uh, the thing was, uh, this is about 1972 when, uh, you know, they, uh, they rebuilt uh, the Carpenters Union after, I guess it was me first, and then Rainey started, and then the Carpenters Union started, and they rebuilt the whole area up here again, you know? I know, we will, we'll get to that. All right. We he can, gets if, boring looking at us. That's yeah, what he's saying. He can well, only look at him. I know, I know. He does that very nicely, but why don't you... I mean, if you want to film them for a while... <laughs> okay. I'll stop, you know, but... He gets his name in the free press, it's all over. That's the right. Now he's just an enormous enough. ego. He thinks he's a great artist. All kinds of... All kinds of <laughs> put, put the camera on this guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> That's what happened. I didn't film that old North I mean, we're trying to make this man into a now. household word. We have <laughs> people don't know who he is. <laughs>